Hello everyone, ahead of the action and we're certainly looking forward to it here at the Estadio de la Ceramica. I'm Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. An action coming up from the Spanish top division La Liga. It is Villarreal up against Real Betis. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Real pleasure to be here. Looking forward to this game. Players will be a bit nervous. I was always nervous at the start of games. It's important you get your first pass off to your colleague. Maybe get a good tackle in. Settle the nerves down. Looking forward to a good game here. Raúl Albion con el 4, Pau Torres con el 24. The Villarreal starting 11. Sergio Asenko is the man between the posts. Dani Parejo starts alongside Manu Trigueros in central midfield. And the main forward is Paco Alcácer. Dani Parejo con el 23, Moy Gómez. Y con el 17, Paco Well, here's the Betis starting 11. Aysa Mondi plays alongside Victor Ruiz in central defence. Cristian Teo plays with Joaquin on the flanks. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Que onden esas banderas en el estadio de la Cerámica. El partido va a comenzar. And now they get the ball rolling. Raul Albiol. Manu Trigueros. Gerard Moreno. Manu Trigueros has it. Now with Alcata. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Parejo. Paco Alcata. Capu now. Alcata. On the defending, not the best here. Moreno. Now Trigueros. Can he do it to take the lead? He's trying to create something. Joaquin. And it's Iglesias. Can they take advantage? He might be able to make it through. Back here! And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, here's the replay, and the ball over the top is an absolute beauty. And a 2v1 is never fair. To be honest with you, the keeper's got no chance to stop this. It's lovely football. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. One nil, then. Gol del Betis con el 8 Fekir. Canales. He's going forward well here. Rodriguez. And it's Iglesias. Fekir! Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Nabil Fekir. Borja Iglesias. Now Canales. Excellent passing. Canales. Now showing excellent vision. He's in behind the defence here. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Yeah. 
Well, here we see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post, terrible. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek. He's not happy. Just look at him. So, 2-0 now. Marca el Betis. Con el 9, Borja Iglesias. Raúl Albiol. Torres on the ball. Es una llamada para los padres de Clara y Mateo. Vuestros hijos Manu Trigueros. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Ruben Peña. Manu Trigueros has it. Capu now. Moving into the advanced position. Alcázar. Parejo lost possession and the counter attack is on options available Emerson and now Mondi Victor Ruiz on the ball, Teo. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Etienne Capu. Trigueros. And this would reduce the deficit. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. And he read it superbly. That's plenty of know-how in the ball shielding department. Manu Trigueros. In behind for him to chase. Trigueros. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. They've got it now. What can they do? A promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. And he saw the situation developing. Villarreal enjoying the bulk of possession, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. And a fine tackle. Nabil Fekir. And with it, Joaquin. Difficult to stop him. Canales. It did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. And close but offside nonetheless Alcázar beautifully weighted ball high quality defending Canales Miranda now Canales and one minute of stoppage time has been added on Miranda so there goes the half-time whistle it is an acceptable scoreline from the point of view of the visitors they find themselves on top lead some said before the game with this defense they will need a hefty lead at half time in order to win this game well they've done the first bit can this porous defense do the business now i'm not so sure derek in this set
plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Joaquin. Emerson. And it's with Rodriguez. Miranda. And taken away. Gerard Moreno. Alcacer. And they've won possession again. Miranda. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Parejo. Moreno. Now Parejo. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Moy Gomez. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Parejo. Teammate available. Moy Gomez. Alcacer. Well, nothing productive, really. Borja Iglesias. And he's made headway. Rodriguez. Victor Ruiz. And a creative look about this. And possession given away. Moreno. Manu Trigueros. Etienne Capu. Can he convert? A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, let's take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away. First time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. And a substitution in the offing. Well, two one it is here. Golden Villarreal. Con el cinco, Dani Parejo. Canales. Well, I must say he acquitted himself well under pressure. Manu Trigueros. Etienne Capu. And Alcázar. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Parejo. Alcázar. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Paco Alcázar! My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And time for the change now. And firing it into the area. Oh, tremendous block. Great block again. Alcacer. And space to cross it. And begging to be put away. Well, there it is. Can you believe this? From two down, they now find themselves level. Well, there's all types of goals. Spectacular headers, overhead kicks. 
This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, a glut of goals, two apiece. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Coquelin. Excellent vision. Rigueros. And players waiting in the centre. What can he do from here? Gerard Moreno. It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. Can he give them the lead? Parejo! Alcacer. Here's Moreno. Cocola. And taking it away. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Coquelin. Well, it's been a frustrating day for these fans. They want a goal. They're urging their team on to attack. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Manu Trigueros. They really look after the ball when they have it. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Coquelin. But well, he could run onto it here. Can he keep his composure? Pulls it back. Well, as we can see again here, he knows exactly what he's doing and kids all the defenders with the cutback. And the thunderous strike to beat the keeper hands down is absolutely brilliant. Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And only two minutes remaining here. Andres Guardado. Teo. Nabil Fekir. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Andres Guardado. This is Aisa Mondi. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Now, and that is that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here, Lee. Well, Derek, it's hard to knock a team that's put in so much effort. But to score goals and still end up with nothing, it's hard not to slam the defence. Once again, they've leaked goals in for fun. Terrible defending, it really is.